There's a new protocol that's being adopted and ultimately the World Wide Web will sort of uh, become the World Wide Mesh where every device, these devices in your pockets, are, aren't just going to be spokes into an internet that's self-organizing there. They're all going to be part of the web, so all self-organizing their communication. So these devices will not only be sending and receiving your own messages, they'll be transmitting other people's messages and it'll all be self-organizing. That will be extremely decentralized. There won't be a central hub that people can attack. And if portions of it go down, information will root around it. I think it'll be very robust then. At a different level, we have to worry about our own information, things like privacy. I mean, it's already the case we do very personal things on our computers. We don't want people taking them over or looking over our shoulders, so to speak. Uh, as computers go inside our bodies, and not to mention our brains, uh, we'd like to maintain privacy and, and control of those computers, so it becomes even more important. So it becomes a very technical issue how to do that. There are more and more powerful ways of actually providing protection uh, and also more powerful ways of breaking it. It's going to be a continued cat and mouse game. One thing that's encouraging, though, is that encryption has actually uh, gone at a faster rate than decryption. It gets very technical, but yes, it's definitely an engineering issue to keep our information private and controlled and secured and keep the whole internet infrastructure secure.